Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to convert CQQQ with SPY. If you know some good ETFs that you want me to analyze or compare, share it down below in the comments and I'm really, really happy to do that. Also, if you want to learn how you can make more money with ETFs, I created a course down below in the description, check it out. So without further ado, let's start. CQQQ with SPY, what are some main differences, listings, Yada, yada. With CQQQ, it's a leveraged ETF with high expense ratio, but um, people can say that, okay, it's really high expense ratio, but the earnings uh, on the ETF are really good. Comparing to SPY, when you look here on uh, expense ratio, it's 0 0.09. So let's say that you would be investing $10,000, you would pay $95 fee when you calculate it like this. And with the expense ratio on SPY, you would pay only $9. Assets under management, 18 billion to 426 billion. Underlying index is NASDAQ 100 index, uh, top 100 companies, and underlying index SP500 for SPY. Now, when you come here to CQQ listing, and we will get to it, and I will show you straight away. Um, right now, it's mostly technology stocks, and we will get to it. When we go further to the performance, uh, this graph on performance is not working really well but on the other hand you can see it on the right side the performance of both of these etfs so you see the one month here 42 percent uh one month 8.93 percent three months 25 percent three months in spy 6.70 um one year 142 percent increase spy 37 so that's like these numbers are crazy and when i come here like spy and when I come here and write CQQ and I'll go last year or like last five years on both, you see in the last five years, 115% comparing to 1,585%. The increase, right? So you can see uh, the leverage ETF is a good way when the market is doing well, you're gonna in earn more money. On the other hand, when the uh, market would crash, dip, um, you would lose more money. Now, my recommendation, like what I do, is that uh, I would just invest a small amount of money that I know that I don't really care if it's lose value. I would, I would just put it to TQQQ. Like personally, or like whatever really good leveraged ETF that you know about. Or if you, if you have some ideas about good leveraged ETFs, share it down below in the comments and I'm really happy to read that. So this is something that is um, important to know about. Now, when we go even further, uh, we can go on the listing and see the holdings. So primarily in SPY, you're going to see financials. That's something you won't find in TQQQ. Uh, you're going to see also technology here, healthcare. And with holdings on uh, TQQQ, you see technology 40%, consumer services 13 goods, healthcare, and then you see the companies here like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Alphabet, Nvidia, PayPal. On the other hand, when you come here to the SPY, you see the Microsoft Corporation, you see Apple, you see Amazon, you see Tesla. And um, that's also quite important to know about. So when we look on the holdings, it's Apple, Microsoft, Amazon. Now you can clearly see that, so this is pretty much it, the performance. I don't know what else to show you. SPY is a good ETF to invest into long-term. TQQQ is amazing for short-term gains. I don't know if you could invest into long-term. I don't have stomach really for it, but I would just invest money that, mm, that I'm willing to lose. Because, but if the market would dip or crash and invest in that moment into TQQQ, that's amazing strategy. I really believe in that. So if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. This is pretty much it. CQQQ versus SPY. Both are really great. And um, they're worth to invest to. And yep, yeah, it's just it all depends on how much you are willing to risk, how much money you want to make, and if you have stomach for it or leverage ETFs. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you are going to have a great day and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.